So you're thinking about moving to Greenville, South Carolina, and more specifically, Traveler's Rest. Well, you want to make sure that you know the pros and the cons, the good, the bad, and all the things in the middle. So in this video, today we're going to unpack all the pros and cons of Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. So let's get into it. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about Greenville and places like we are today in Traveler's Rest, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything in the upstate. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team, and we want to make sure that you have a smooth transition to the upstate. So whether it's a week from now or it's a year from now, make sure you reach out. All of our information is below, and let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the first thing I want to go over for pros for Traveler's Rest would be things to do. I'm at Gateway Park and it is a great experience for adults and children. There's basketball courts, there's football fields. It can also be used as a soccer field. It even has seating for that for people to watch you play. That's pretty cool. There's tennis courts, there's playgrounds, and it's right off of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. So let's go ahead and talk about the Swamp Rabbit Trail. What is that, Tracy, right? So it's 22 miles that was originally a railroad track that was converted by paving it over to make a trail that is an all of downtown Traveler's Rest that goes into downtown Greenville and Furman. Now, I won't want to forget that. Furman University. We're going to unpack Furman in a minute. So it's going to go to Furman University. It's going to get you to downtown Greenville. Well, you're going to be able to get to places like the zoo or you're going to go to all the fun shops or the falls, Reedy River Falls, absolutely gorgeous. It's going to go a little bit further into Verde where you're going to be able to go to places like Whole Foods and all of that right from your bike. How cool. You're going to be able to get to Bridgeway Station, which is pretty cool now. It looks like a castle, Hogwarts. Watch my Malden video if you want to know more about that. And where I'm also located right next to is the Sundrift Adventures. So I'm going to start unpacking some of those places that I mentioned. So Sundrift Adventures is a really cool place where you can rent bikes. You can get what you need for hiking, for rafting, for running, and all of that. And it's been a staple of Traveler's Rest since like the 80s. How cool is that? That a business has thrive so long to support the people around it. It's really a great place, right? And then let's unpack what does it look like to go to Furman. Furman is also a great place, not just for education. There's a beautiful walking trail around the pond with ducks in it, and there's so many events that happen there. They do a special Olympics event, and they have football games and all kinds of stuff there. There's different things that you can do in Traveler's Rest that you don't even have to come outside of town. There's festivals, there's parades, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do just by living in Traveler's Rest. I'll put some of the links in the comments I mean in the description so that way you can see them. So when you're talking about the pros of Traveler's Rest, shopping would be included for most people. Where I'm at right now is the Farmer's Market and Traveler's Rest. It's every Saturday from spring to fall from 8 o'clock in the morning until 12 o'clock. It has great food, it has produce, it has flowers. There's food trucks here to enjoy while you're shopping as well as there's live music that you can hear in the background right now. There's uh, free yoga, all the fun things to do. If you want to do some other shopping, you can go to Sunrift Adventures where you can get things for biking, paddling, and hiking. And you can even rent bikes there to drive on the Swamp Rabbit Trail, which is really cool. There's boutique shops. There's lots of things to enjoy. You're not going to have places like Target or big box stores, except for the Walmart Little Market Center. You'll get some things that you need there. But for the small town feel of Traveler's Rest, you want to come shopping here. So one of the most amazing things about Traveler's Rest this is such a fun foodie town. Right now, I'm at Topsoil. Topsoil is a farm-to-table restaurant, and it is so good. So brunch here is phenomenal on Sundays. The carrot pancakes are to die for. Sunday evenings, there's a chef uh, pairing, and what that looks like is the chef's going to choose what meal you're going to have, and it's going to pair you with great wines to make it a flavorful, tantalizing to your taste buds experience. It was nominated for the James Beer Award, and that's a great, great feat if you know anything about the James Beard Award. There's other restaurants here that are so good. Sidewall Pizza is a very, very good pizza. It has garlic knots that are just so good. The breadsticks is what I'm referring to. They're a local chain. They started here, and there's other locations in Greenville that are so cool. Shortfields is also a restaurant that is here that has other locations in Greenville just because they started here. There are places like Monkey Ranch that you can have barbecue. There's Tandem. There's so many restaurants here. You have to check this out. Another pro about either living in Traveler's Rest or visiting Traveler's Rest are the places you can stay. 
Right now I'm at the Swamp Rabbit Inn, which is right off the Swamp Rabbit Trail, or you can stay at the station. They are both bed and breakfast type places that are right on the rabbit trail, so you can go ahead and have your walk, you can go rent a bike over at the Sundrift. There's lots of things you can do without having to stay outside of Traveler's Rest. There isn't a Hilton or anything like that here, but there's gorgeous places just like this that you can enjoy when you come. And the reason I said about living here is just because you live in Traveler's Rest doesn't mean you sometimes don't need a little break away from the kids or just a little day break to yourself. And this would be a great place for you to enjoy that. So Swamp Rabbit Inn or the station would be great places to check out for places to stay. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that there's huge tax savings living in your home in Traveler's Rest in Greenville County and South Carolina as a whole. So what that means is it's called homestead exemption. If you're going to reside in your home, you pay a lesser tax than if you were to say buy the home and rent it out or have it left to a family member. There's also tax savings if you are a senior and you have a discount with that. And if you're a military disabled veteran, you have huge savings as well. If you want more information on that, I'll put all of that in the description below so you can find out more about your tax savings when you live in Traveler's Rest. One con that people find about Traveler's Rest is the commute. And what I mean by that is where it's located, it's like right here. And then you have Greenville over here, Spartanburg here, and Asheville here to get to work in any of those areas because there's not major work here. It's a small town, so you have to come out. So you don't really have an easy way to get to them. You have to go to downtown to go over to if you wanted to go work on Woodruff Road or anywhere on 85 or 385. If you wanted to work in Spartanburg, you have to go this way. So it's about 35 minutes to 45 minutes in the traffic, sometimes an hour. So people don't really love that. They do love when they come home that it's a really quite uh, quaint little town that they can get to everything in the town pretty easily, but they do not love having to commute outside for work. Another con that many people that live here find that the weekends get kind of packed. So you know that it's beautiful here. You're wanting to move here, it's so beautiful. So you have locals that want to come downtown. You have people in Greenville and Spartanburg and even Asheville that come here on the weekends. Does it get like crazy packed? No, but if you're not used to having that much traffic in and the roads aren't really expanded, there's only a two lane road in and out, the traffic gets kind of crazy. So many locals do not like the traffic on the weekends. During the week, it's not that big of a deal. I'm sitting here on a Saturday, not that crazy, but it isn't a holiday weekend or anything like that. So just pay attention to the traffic and know that it's gonna be well, a little bit crazier on the weekend. Another con for a lot of people would be weather. From the, causing allergies, from the pollen and all of that, because just understand, during the spring season, it is bad. The whole entire windshield of your car, the whole car, is gonna look green, yellow. It's gonna be a thick layer that's gonna be wash and have to it's just going to take a lot of work to get that handled then there's also the part of the weather that where you are you're right next to the blue ridge mountains part of the blue ridge mountains even and so that means if there's going to be snow you will get it it doesn't mean you're going to get an ample amount of snow but it doesn't mean that you won't so while simpsonville and greenville may not get snow very much you will get it in traveler's rest and some people don't like that and so also the summer gets quite muggy it is in the middle of june right now on a Saturday. Saturday, and I am quite, <laughs> I've been patting down in between takes to get the perspiration off me. It is muggy, it is hot, it is humid, and some people just don't love the weather here in Traveler's Rest and the different seasons. Another con would be the healthcare. You're not going to have a hospital in Traveler's Rest. You're going to have to drive 25 minutes to Greenville, maybe 30 to 35 minutes into Spartanburg if you want a hospital. Now there's multiple hospitals in Greenville and several in Spartanburg. And I want to make sure you think about that though. If you lived in Simpsonville or if you lived in Greenville, due to traffic, you're probably going to be 20, 25 minutes either way. So it's not a major ordeal to some people that there's not a hospital in Traveler's Rest, but some people really don't love that. They want their hospital within five to 10 minutes and that's not going to happen here. So they're just disenchanted. So that's a con for what Traveler's Rest people think. The last con we're going to go over today about Traveler's Rest would be 
um, a little hard to deal with at times. And what I mean by that, it's going to be hard for when you want to move here because the prices are higher here than most parts of the Greenville County. So when supply and demand happen, prices go up if the supply is low and the demand is high. So because there's not a lot of new construction homes happening other than like Pineston and a couple other neighborhoods and the area wants to keep it a small town feel. So there's not going to be an enormous amount of growth. When people aren't moving, the supply is low. And when people are loving the area and they want to live here, the demand is high. That makes the prices go up. So it is a con to most people when they're trying to live here or if they've lived here their whole life and they want to move across town to be near one of their friends, they're just not going to be able to get to do that easily because the price is going to be higher. So there you have it. The pros and cons of Travelers Rest South Carolina. Have you had any thoughts of moving to the Greenville area or Travelers Rest? specifically, make sure you reach out to me, Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. All of my information is below and we'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. Make sure if you want to see videos just like this that you hit here so you can see more. Talk to you soon.